A drop of water, if it could write its own history, could explain the entire universe to us. Water is vital for all forms of life. Welcome to Wikivox, where your search for the truth begins. We can categorize the water into three types. One is a blue water, the green water and the grey water. We have a different kind of water which doesn't come in any of these categories and which is the topic which we are going to discuss today and that is virtual water. Virtual water can be explained as a water content of a product. The product can be a commodity, a good or whatever it is. This virtual water is the amount of actual fresh water used to produce that product at the place where it was actually produced. We actually know in a production chain, we have a different kind of categories where water is actually involved. The concept of virtual water was first actually introduced to the world by Mr. Tony Allen in 1990. Tony Allen was a British geographer. He was awarded the Stockholm Water Prize in 2008 for his revolutionary virtual water concept. According to this concept, one ton of wheat which is produced in the Middle East needs almost around 1000 tons of water to get it produced. This calculation actually happens by calculating the entire water which has been used to produce the wheat right from sowing to reaping. For example, in 1990, 70 percentage of the total wheat which was grown in Middle East or Saudi Arabia was been exported to other countries. But now this same country is importing the maximum amount of wheat which they need to consume. Another example is China which consumes the pork in a higher quantity but the people there doesn't have the permission to farm it. Another example is Italy. Italy is very famous for its leather goods but the leather which has been used to manufacture its leather goods is mostly been imported from India. In this list we have another beautiful example for producing one egg we actually need 160 liters of water. As we have seen the example already this water is calculated with all aspects of growing the hen to produce the egg but the market scenarios makes it very tough due to the competition in the market we are actually for to sell the egg for a minimal cost and when we come to leather for the final output of a quality leather we need minimal of 16,000 liters of water and on the list for one kilogram of pork we need 6,000 liters of water in the same way if we calculate the amount of virtual water involved in each and every product which has been exported to other countries from India it is a huge amount which we cannot even imagine a cup of tea will cost you 160 liters of virtual water whereas a normal person in Africa consumes only 10 to 25 liters of water in a day. The precise volume of the virtual water can differ from different countries depending upon the climatic conditions and the way the product is been grown or manufactured. But every product which is been exported from a country to another country or grown in a country involves this virtual water concept. It's a highly alarming concept that the word export will at one point of time leave us with no sources behind. We can say when we compare India to other countries of the world, these countries of USA and Europe actually calculate the water scarcity or the minimum amount of water needed for processing a product. But in India, it has been highly alarming that no people or the politicians are aware about this virtual water concept. They are not aware of the fact that producing a product and exporting it will give you money, will give you profit, but it actually affects your natural resources including water. If this continues, India is supposed to lose its entire water availability in the coming 500 years. But in contrast, China, which is the biggest importer of food, does not suffer at any cost. There are many studies in India which insights the new strategies to manage groundwater sustainability as 80% of our agricultural activities are dependent on groundwater. In 2014-2015, India exported 37.1 lakh tons of basmati rice for which 10 trillion liters of water was used. From land preparation to post harvest, almost one fifth of this water came from surface water and groundwater. Exporting food and livestock product which involves large amount of water in producing them can be avoided from exporting from our country to other country to bring down the net virtual water export. Adding to that, in the past 10 years, India has exported a virtual water amount of almost 496.98 trillion liters and imported 237.21 trillion liters. All the status, all the studies proves that India is a vast exporter of virtual water and the study evaluated differences in the total exports and imports between 2006 and 2016 and found that India exported 26,000 million liters of virtual water on an average every year. Rice was the highest exported food product which followed by buffalo meat and maize. 
we need to definitely arrive at a solution to conserve water or else there might be a time which arrives as the countries of Middle East which have highest amount of water scarcity, if that point comes to a country like India, it will be definitely hard to handle. There are many studies which provides the pointers on how farmers could save water while growing their crops. Effective irrigation techniques, irrigation scheduling, suitable crop selections and different techniques based on the climatic conditions, soil type and water availability. It is a fact that in the year 2019, India has generated a revenue of almost around 1.29 lakh crores on this agricultural product. But the fact is that we need to have some monetization or this sustainability should be monitored with the effect of climate change which is definitely a factor. As we have already discussed, each and every product which has been cultivated in a country or been manufactured have the same effects of virtual water in it and it is highly alarming that the word export will leave us nothing of our natural resources at one point of time. Likes and comments about this video is most welcome. Please subscribe our Wikivox channel for more contents. Nalla Dei Pagarindu, Nalla Samudhaayitei Uruvakuvam, Nandri Vanakkam.